any rock like our God. There is none holy as the Lord. There is none holy as the Lord. Hallelujah. There is none, none beside thee. Neither is there any rock like our God. There is none holy as the Lord. There is none holy as the Lord. Hallelujah. There is none beside thee. Neither is there any rock like our God. There is none holy as the Lord. Oh Lord, our God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent is your name, O Lord, O Lord, our God. How excellent is your name. In all the earth, how excellent is your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us give the Lord praise tonight. Let us worship his majesty. He is God Almighty. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending of all things. Father, we bless your name. Oh, we bless your name. We bless your name. We worship at your feet. We bow down before your throne. We say thank you for the gift of life. We say thank you for your faithfulness. We say thank you for your kindness. We say thank you for your mercies. We say thank you for your healings. We say thank you for all that you have done for us, for things that are living things that are non-living, that you have blessed us with, for the gifts of family, for the gift of friends, for the gift of shoulders to lean on, for the gift of listening ears. Lord, we bless your name. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name. I want la yenio manyo. It is the living that we praise the Lord. We are alive today and from the depths of our hearts, we are expressing gratitude to you, Lord. We are grateful, O oh God, for all you have done for us, for all you have done for our families, for all you have done for our children. We are grateful, O oh God. We are grateful, O oh God. We are thankful, O oh God. We are thankful, O oh God. We enter into your presence tonight with praises, with thanks, with adoration, because we know it is because you do not change that we are not consumed. It is because you do not change that our children are not consumed. We bless your name, Father. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We cannot thank you enough. If all the hairs on our heads are actually tongues, tongues lifting up thanksgiving, it's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. No one knows like we know how good you are to us. And that is why no one can praise you for us. No one can thank you for us. But by ourselves, with our mouths, <laughs> with our hearts full of thanksgiving, we say thank you. The one who is worthy, we thank you. The one who is worthy, we give you praise. It is because of you that we are here. 
And we thank you. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' marvelous name, we have given thanks. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Again tonight, I welcome every praying parent, every lover of children who has created time to pray for at least the child. It is our vision that at least once a week for one hour, a child is being prayed for all over the world. At least once a week, children are being lifted before God. And I know that the Lord God who has called for this movement, that we pray deliberately for our children, I know that he will watch over his word to perform it in their lives and in our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord has actually led me in the, in the direction tonight whereby we'll be praying also for the children. I mean, also for the parents. I've had people ask me, oh, why don't you pray for the parents too? But, you know, we will move as the Holy Spirit leads. And tonight he has led, us, led me to lead us to pray for the parents also. Hallelujah. And the prayer point number one is we're going to be asking the Lord to meet us at the point of our needs so that we can take better care of the children that he has given to us. Amen. This is a prayer that we are sure that the Lord is so eager to answer. So I want us to pray, Lord, meet me at the point of my needs. As a mother, as a father, as an uncle, as a niece, you are, you are responsible for some children. Just ask the Lord tonight, Lord, meet me at the point of my needs. And God, you know, God sees our hearts. He knows that you want to give something better to these children. And so you need also some things to help you to be able to do that. Let us go to him in prayers tonight. With a heart of sincerity. Lord, as parents we are asking, as guardians, foster parents, caregivers to children, we are asking that you will meet us at a point of our needs. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Lord, I join my faith with everyone praying right now that, Lord God, meet us at the point of our needs. We know that children have needs, but we also have needs, and you know. And so you have given us the privilege to ask tonight. So we are asking, oh Lord, meet us at the point of our needs. Meet us at the point of our needs. In the name of the Lord Jesus, it is your desire that every need be supplied, every need be met. The Bible says that you are the present help in time of need. And so we come to you tonight and we are asking, oh Lord, meet us at the point of our needs. We want to give these children something better than we've been giving them. But we need help in this area. We need help in that area. We need finances. We need emotional stability. We need health in our bodies. We need certain things, oh Lord, that only you can give us. We are asking, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, that you will meet us at the point of our needs, oh God. Many people are frustrated at work. There are so many economical hardship here and there. But we know that when we are helped of God, we are helped indeed. Lord, help us as parents. Meet us at the point of our needs. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, meet economic needs, O God. Meet emotional needs, O God. Meet marital needs, O God. We have single parents who need help us. Lord, meet marital needs, O God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, meet healing needs in the bodies, O God. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Meet us as parents, as caregivers to these children, O oh God, at the point of our needs. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We desire to give your heritages that you have put in our care the best. But when we don't have what it takes, we cannot give what we don't have. Lord, we are asking, O oh God, let our needs be met. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus. Some of us, we need understanding. We need wisdom to handle the matters of life. We need your wisdom. We need your succor. We need your comfort in certain areas of our lives so that we can give these children our best. Lord, meet us, God. Oh, many people have hoped and hoped against hope. Bible says that hope deferred makes the heart sick. Lord, so many of us, we have, we have, we, we have, we are sick in the heart, <laughs> but we are asking, oh God, that there will be a performance in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let there be a performance, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Meet every parent, oh God, for the sake of these children, oh God. The uh, Bible says that their angels are constantly beholding your face in heaven. Lord, let their angels minister, oh God, unto their parents. <laughs> in the name of the Lord Jesus, let their angels minister unto their caregivers, unto their guardians. Malembra sita kambrogo zotariaba. Yenkrebo zonde glerebo sonta rabashanda. Inda galika limbro soto limbro star. Lord, I ask that you would dispatch ministering spirit, <laughs> bearing good news <laughs> to go to parents who have been taking care of the children. Let them bring good tidings. Let those who are waiting for answers, oh God, receive them. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let burdens be lifted, oh God, of our parents. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Faithful Father, we bless your name. We appreciate you. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord is leading us to pray. And he said to me, let the parents ask for forgiveness where their choices have hurt the children. You know, everybody is prone to mistakes except God. But we've taken, we've made choices. We've taken decisions that only God can help us with. Well, it's not left to that. It's also affected the children. Like in our, uh, before I do series, talking to people who are not yet married, one of the things that the Lord brought to me that I've actually been hammering on is, before you choose your partner, please think about your children. Because whatever you do, some people are unequally yoked with unbelievers and they have put their children in bondage. They have put their children in, you know, in, <laughs> in tight circumstances. That it is not the doing of the children. It's the doing of their parents by their choices. But now the children are partaking of the consequences of the choices of their parents. Let us ask for forgiveness tonight. You've taken, you've made choices that are adversely affecting your children. Ask God to forgive you and ask him to make a way of escape. And if you need to ask your children to forgive you, <laughs> please go ahead and ask for their forgiveness. I know what I'm talking about. Many children are going through what they have no business going through because of the decisions that their parents took at one point or the other. But God is a God who is able to reverse the irreversible and there is nothing impossible with him. So let us pray in the name of Jesus. Father, I know there's a reason you've given us this prayer point. There's a reason you want us to visit this. And we are asking, oh Lord, all of us together, in any way we have taken decisions that have had adverse effects on our children. We ask that you will forgive us, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. And we are open to ask you, Lord, to help us, lead us in the way we should go. The steps of the righteous, they are ordered by the Lord. When we have ordered our own steps and done things our own way, Lord, forgive us. But don't just leave us there. 
after the forgiveness, lead us, O oh God, in the path of righteousness. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Give us ways of escape, O oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Give us wisdom so that we know what to do per time. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Where those effects can still be reversed, where some things can still be corrected, Lord, help us. Give us the grace. Give us the wisdom. Give us the understanding to do what we need to do. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Where we have left our children carelessly with house helps, with housemaids who have abused them. Where we, where we have left our children with you know family members that we allow to live in our houses and they have touch of them. They have spoken down at them. They have torn their, their, their self-esteem into shreds and they've done all manner of things to children because we took wrong decisions, because we were sentimental about issues. Lord, thank you for forgiving us tonight and thank you for helping us to make amends in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's begin to pray for our children right now. Every child who has been through this even if you are a parent and you have been through this as a child, maybe you need to forgive your parents. Maybe you need to forgive that auntie. You need to forgive that uncle. You need to forgive whoever it is, that, that senior friend who took advantage of you. Whoever, whatever it is, there's a lot of forgiveness going on right now. As the Lord has forgiven us, we know that when we don't forgive, we hold ourselves from being forgiven. So as many parents as are watching, are yet watch or on the prayer line and, you know, we're praying together, if this is actually ministering to you right now, I need you to let go. Lord, we receive grace to forgive for every wrong treatment. Everyone that spoke down at us, talked down at us and made us to, you know, do and compromise, you know, and do and think of ourselves lesser than we are and all manner of things that had happened. Lord, we ask, oh God, grace to forgive be released right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, we forgive our parents. <laughs> we forgive our maids. We forgive the uncles, the aunties, the stepfathers, the stepmothers that maltreated you. Forgive. There's grace for forgiveness flowing right now. Oh, Oh Lord, heal broken hearts, heal hearts of our children, oh God. Everyone who has been through circumstances that have shredded them into pieces. For every child who has been abused, who has been emotionally abused, physically abused, sexually abused, and all manner of abuses. Lord, we ask for healing for their hearts, oh God. We ask for grace to forgive, oh God. Lord, you are the Jehovah Rapha. We ask that hearts be healed right now. We receive healing in the name of Jesus. Grace to forgive. Healings. Grace to forgive. Healings. We receive in the name of Jesus. Every child who has been tortured, every child who has been emotionally abused, verbally abused, mentally abused, physically abused, Lord, we thank you for your grace released upon them. There are issues of where children lived with their aunts, lived with whoever they lived with, and for one thing or the other that they did, they were actually um, tortured. 
um, some have put pepper in people's eyes and you know done all manner of unimaginable things and these children are hurting and rightly so Lord we ask for your healing touch right now in the name of the Lord Jesus I know of a case where a, a, the mother of a house we make our house help to sit in the trunk of our SUV and the children will sit in the car in the in the main vehicle and the house help <laughs> will sit in the trunk of the car lord have mercy i cannot imagine what that had done to that girl i don't know where he or she is, you know where she is now but <laughs> there is no such thing as other people's children no child fell from the skies lord for every child who has been maltreated and abused, I ask for healing, O God. In the name of Jesus, healing, O God. You said you wish above all things that we prosper and be in health, even as our souls prosper. Lord, let your healing hand, oh God, wherever the, those kind of those people that, that you know, people that have had such experiences, wherever they are all over the world, let your healing virtue flow, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yembra si katarem roshta himbra gabasata. Yembro gobo zi katalende bro sota kabra go zuzubushida. Ika tekem rogo sota lenda rabasi katalem rogo suta. Pray parents. Pray. Morim rosta hinda galibra gashida. Kete bro zuzushida katalem rogo sote lembro shanderiaba. Ima karim raga ze ketem razuzuba shinda kete bro sotariaba. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let us pray for children of people who have maltreated other children. Let us stand in the gap for them and ask that the consequences of their parents' sin will not be visited upon them. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we stand in the gap for every child whose parents, whether it's the father or the mother, have had in the past maltreated other people's children and those children have you know cursed them consciously or unconsciously that oh this that you have done for me your children also we see <laughs> lord we stand in the gap for innocent children whose parents have done devilish and evil things and we say by the blood of jesus they are exempted from the consequences of such sins in the name of the lord jesus and for anyone who is already in the consequence of such lord let your mercy prevail let your mercy prevail oh god let the blood of jesus that is speaking better things than the blood of Abel. Let us speak for these children. Mercy, O oh God. Lord, we speak for these children. Mercy, Speak mercy for these this precious children, for these innocent children, the blood of Jesus. Speak mercy. In the graba sikata yende de bosta, in bragobo zonde de rosota, ke de brosta, in the gayeke de brocosota, in brosota cabasta, malem brogosita ka yege zrotroboshende de yaba. Thank you, everlasting Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus, thank you for deliverances. Thank you for healings. Thank you for setting free these precious innocent souls. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. We're still praying for the children. Every child that God made was made on purpose. Every child that came, came because God had preordained that they should come. It is not because their father slept with their mother that they came. They came because they had to come. So their father and their mother slept together and there was a conception. God is a deliberate God and every child has a purpose on earth. Part of our responsibility as parents is to um, 
prayerfully find out the purpose for which God sent these children to this world. And I want us to pray tonight for every child in our care, whether the one you give birth to, the one that you're watching over in school, the one that you're taking care of as a nurse, whatever, however that God has brought the children into your life, it's for a purpose. Maybe there is nobody praying for that child but you. And it's a great privilege. And the Lord definitely will not owe, man, owe, anyone, owe anyone anything. He will repay. Let us pray tonight. Call the children under your care by name. And say, Lord, the reason that you have brought this one, let it be revealed. Reveal, oh God, the purpose for these ones. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Before they were formed in the womb, God knew them and ordained them a certain solution to certain problems. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, for every child in our care, our biological children, the ones that you brought to us one way or the other, we know that it is not a coincidence that we are in their lives and that we are praying for them tonight. And as you have led us to pray, we are asking, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, reveal the purpose for which you brought these ones, oh God. Reveal in the name of the Lord Jesus. You said we should ask you and you will show us great and mighty things that we do not know. Lord, reveal, oh God. Reveal to us as their parents. Reveal to us as their guardians. Reveal to them also in the name of the Lord Jesus that they will not live wasted lives. They will not waste their time on us. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Lord, we are asking, reveal the purpose, oh God. In Brazil, we know that scripture says eyes have not seen ears have not heard it has not entered into the hearts of men what god has prepared for them that love him but you say you have revealed them to us by your spirit and so we are asking oh god for every of these precious ones that they will not run in vain they will not beat about the bush but they will be precise fulfilling purpose in the name of the lord jesus Jesus, let their purposes be revealed, O oh God. Let their purposes be revealed, O oh God. The reason you brought these children, O oh God, reveal, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Reveal these purposes of God so that we can protect them. We can propel them. We can help them to go in the path that you have ordained for them. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Lord, we ask for revelation. They will not live wasted lives in the name of the lord jesus reveal to us lead them in that path in the name of the lord jesus and for as many as you have revealed their purposes already, we ask for grace, oh God, grace to move on, grace to possess their possession, grace to fulfill their purposes. In the name of the Lord Jesus, there is no enchantment against Jacob. There is no divination against Israel. Concerning our children, it shall be said, see what the Lord has wrought. Let no no plan of the evil ones against their purposes find expression. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we ask that their, their 
purposes, their visions be guarded jealously by the Lord God Almighty. Im roko zuzuba shta ige dede ekete kenem rozuzu bashinda karabaha malerem razizi kataka nge dendem rozosto kendem roshida kendem rozuzu balege de le dendem rozota ikata kareke to kuri rozuda rabashanda. Lord, prepare help us for them on their paths to fulfilling purpose. Prepare help us, oh God, on our paths of our children to fulfilling purpose. Let them enjoy great favor. Let them enjoy immense favor on their path to fulfilling purpose. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lendere mbrakotom ragadada katakadi brozozo nda kateke brozo tori abashanda in the name of the Lord Jesus protect oh God their visions as you protect them oh God in the name of the Lord Jesus let no arrow of the evil one targeted against them prosper oh God in the name of the Lord Jesus that these children will live purposeful lives because you are there helping them. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And we thank you for grace. Grace released upon them to fulfill their God-given purpose. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I want us to pray to zoom into their life. 10 years, 15 years, 20 years from now and pray concerning their marriage. It's never too early <laughs> to pray concerning marriage for your children. You might say, oh, they are only 10. Oh, they are only 15. Oh, no, this is still a small boy. Oh, but some, or maybe your grandchildren. Oh, this one, they are still young. It is never too late. To pray for their marital fulfillment. Um, a wise man said, God is busy preparing people, you know, to fulfill different purposes and all that. And the devil is busy preparing spouses for them. <laughs> See, if one marries wrong, to fulfill purpose will be very, very, very difficult. That is if one eventually fulfills that purpose. And um, we just have to pray. We just have to pray and keep praying. Pray and keep praying. Let us pray concerning our children's marital fulfillment tonight. Father, we thank you for these precious little ones that are in our hands right now. Because very soon they are going to have to make that decision. If Jesus tarries, you know, they're going to have to make that decision to get married. Lord, we are asking, O oh God, that you will guide their steps in the name of the Lord Jesus. Guide the, the steps of our children as they make marital choices in the name of the Lord Jesus. They have the mind of Christ. Let the things that are Christ-like, let the things that Christ wants for them, let that be their desire. Cause their desire to align with the one that God has for them. In the name of the Lord Jesus, oh, let the lust of the eyes, the pride of life and all what not, not inform their marital decision. Let it not have power over them as they make their marital decisions. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, and Father, we pray tonight that you will expose every attempt of the evil one 
to match make them or align their paths with wrong marital partners expose in the name of the lord jesus expose in the name of the lord jesus if for any reason hey malenda rogozu takashida kategegem rozota there be any manipulation oh god our children will not fall victim such manipulations will be exposed and dealt with accordingly in the name of the lord jesus enough to wrong marital choices enough to marital affliction in the name of the lord jesus it will not triumph over our children it will not be their portion in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ Thank you, everlasting Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord just said, just reveal this to me. There are certain families that um, covenants have been entered into even before the children were born, and then they've been covenanted to maybe deities and all manner of things especially in africa it's common it's pronounced but it happens all over the world some are not so open but i tell you these spiritual things are there <laughs> but we know because there is no covenant that is as potent as the covenant we have with the lord god almighty the law says in psalm 89 verse 34 he said my covenant will i not break neither will i alter what has come out of my mouth. So God is a covenant keeping God and it's only the covenant we have with God that cannot be broken. Every other covenant is breakable and will be broken tonight over our children in the name of the Lord Jesus. As many children as have, you know, have, are from families where there have been evil covenants, maybe from our forefathers, that we're not even aware of. And those things are, you know, playing out in the lives of the descendants of, you know, such forefathers. We are going to be exempting our children from such covenants. We're going to be invoking, invoking this covenant of God and breaking every contrary covenant in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Bible says once as he's spoken, twice I've heard it, the power belongs to God and who speaks and it comes to pass when God has not commanded it. Father, we bless your name tonight because we have you as our integrity God. The one who speaks and it comes to pass. The one who says he will not break his covenant. Your covenant is the most potent of all covenant. And so we stand tonight as praying parents and we bring every child who comes from a lineage of contrary covenants that might be trying to play out in their marital destiny, play out in their fulfillment in life generally. And we say in the name of the Lord Jesus, such covenants are broken now. In the Once have he spoken, twice have I heard it. The power belongs to God. Through the greatness of your power Oh God, your enemies submit themselves unto you. Imbrozu ke temra galeke de brozuzu shtaha ke dendem brozo toko ke lenda glorabo sota. Every contrary covenant entered into on behalf of these precious children. I break it now in the name of Jesus because Lord God, you have sent me to deliver the children. I break every evil covenant right now in the name of Jesus. Lembrosu takaba shende de brosota kandenge mrozuzu bashanda iketeke kalando roho oh rembrosu ta de broshinda i sprinkle these children with the blood of jesus i sprinkle these children with the blood of jesus in the keko londa nge bronze nge de broko shida kete kuzu tu kubushida in the bruzu teke ndogro nge de brosto hinga da oh thank you everlasting father for the blood even God respects the blood. He said to the children of Israel, put the mark of the blood by, your, by the post of your door that when the angel of destruction is passing, he will pass over. Even God has respect for the blood. Even 
angels of destruction, they have respect for the blood. And therefore, every contrary covenant playing out in the lives of any child we are standing in the gap for tonight, by the reason of the anointing, by the reason of the blood of Jesus, every of the effects of such covenant pass them over in the name of the Lord Jesus. Mare kazeke toriga seta. No, it doesn't happen. My children are covered in the blood of Jesus. You can't do them anything. I hear that. It's not going to happen. I stand in the gap for all the children and I use my children also as a point of contact. They are standing in the forefront. They are sprinkled in the blood of Jesus and no evil covenant will find expression in their lives. That covenant is broken in the name of the Lord Jesus. Evil covenants that our children have entered into by by proxy, Malay Kariza, Tekem Rogoswata, the covenant keeping God has authorized me tonight. And so I break such evil covenant in the name of Jesus. Lem Rosu Takabashta here. Kem Rosozo, Bragataka, Kem Prosoto here. In the Brogosondo Robo Shen, the Gedereka Seke Terebota. In the Galando Robo, Katabruzu Takaba Shanda. The blood of Jesus. 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 Lembrasita Karash de Hebrahasata. Imbrakobo so take a bosta, gain the bronzo in the grebosta, end the brosso to corobosta, Cambrogo is the Cambro Shinda Labrahasta, Cambrogo Suta Cam, bring the rebosota riabashedia, Lembraga zeket embra zuzumba shen de kete brosta, Limbraga basu catrabahasta. Thank you, everlasting Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We're going to pray for certain groups of children right now. Uh, I saw that um, their teeth were being put out. Um, you know, when it has to do with teeth, uh, just like a lion, without the teeth, what, how does it, you know, <laughs> handle its prey? Uh, teeth actually stands for a, a, a weapon that is needed um let me let me break it down like you want to eat you want to chew you know you need teeth i don't know what exactly that stands for in the lives of our children but we are standing in the gap as praying parents and we are saying that concerning our children their teeth will not be put out in the name of the lord jesus they need their teeth to chew, to enjoy the blessing of God. They need their teeth to, to, to be complete. They need their teeth to be, to be, to be able to be nourished. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because you're going to help us to pray. Because our children's teeth will not be put out. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever that stands for, whatever the devil is trying to do against our children, we stand as praying parents tonight. <laughs> the Lord God Jehovah, who was with Daniel in the, in, the, in the den of lions, who did not make the lions to open their mouths to touch Daniel. That same God, that same anointing that was present with Daniel, that made him to be untouchable by the lions. We release such upon our children right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. And we say they will not be touched. Their teeth will not be put out in the name of the Lord Jesus. Touch not my anointed, do my prophet no harm. Our children are untouchable. They are untouchable. These ones will walk with God. They will walk in God. They will see the 
hearts of God. They will know the ways of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in Brazek and then the Brogoshanda, show yourself strong on behalf of our children, O oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Embrazek, Embrogo Boshinda, Braga Basita Kateke, Palenda Brogo, Zandere, Braga Dagaya Gareke, Telembro Shaderia, Ika Zombra Gabash, the Himbrosota, Maleka, the Kembros, or Tombra Gabashinda Rika Basata. We know that these children are divine purposes born. That is why in the book of, Gen uh, of Revelations, when the woman gave birth to the son, the devil was waiting. Ah, the dragon was waiting. But there was divine protection, divine preservation of purpose, divine preservation of destiny. Oh, Lord God. We bring our sons, our daughters, call them by name and bring them under the divine protection of the Almighty God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I bring you blessed, I bring you favored under the mighty hand of the Almighty. Divine protection in the name of the Lord Jesus, in Brazika te gede dem roko sota, in dan dam raka ba she de de de, kelem rogo babo son de de de. Your destinies are preserved in the name of Jesus, in roko sota kare krebo shandiria. In Braga Basica Talende de Brosata, in the Debro Gashen de Debro, Kazigata Kalembro Gosuta, in the Lacra Basica Taraba, Zende Brogoshinda Leke Tembra Zekete, Kalaguru Gusuta Karabashanda. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' precious name, Amen and Amen. Babu says that I've been young and now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his children beg bread. I want us to pray for our children. We are zooming into their future, you know, and we are decreeing and settling things that at every point that they get to, at every juncture that they get to, they will never beg in the name of the Lord Jesus. They will never beg. They will not beg bread in the name of the Lord Jesus. I have been young and now I am old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken no, his children beg bread. Father, we speak forth into the lives of our children and our grandchildren, our great grandchildren to the 10th generation. You know, when Saul, after the prophet met with Saul, he said to him, Go back home. The donkey, the ass that you're looking for, has been found. Then he said to him, he said, as you are going, you will meet three men. They will salute you. <laughs> he said, they, they are carrying three loaves of bread. One is carrying the kid, goat, and all that. He said, they will give you two. We covenant our children into such realm of favors in the name of the Lord Jesus. They will not beg bread. At every junction that they get to, Help will be waiting. I mean, I mean, the help that they need, yes, will be waiting for them in the name of the Lord Jesus. As they desire it, it shall come to them. As they need it, the, as they have the, the, the demand, the supply will be waiting in the name of the Lord Jesus. Call your child's name and decree into his or her life that at every point in your life, you will never lack help. You will never have to beg for bread. In the name of the Lord Jesus, whatever bread means, per time, per season, our children will not lack. In the name of the Lord Jesus, whether it be academic, whether it be emotional, whether it be financial, whether it be health, whatever, every kind of need that they have per time, in the name of the Lord Jesus, by the power of God, God that does not fail, they will never have to beg for bread. Everything that they desire, everything that they need for time is made available to them in the name of the Lord Jesus. They are the generation and the seed of the righteous. But our children will not beg bread in the name 
of the Lord Jesus. Supernatural provision all the way. Imbrosota kareka zizimbro ko shenderia. Wema lembro ko donge ya. In the lembro go zike talendembro sota. Our children will not beg bread. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Embra gelembro ko shenderia. Every kind of need that they would ever have will be supernaturally met. In the name of the Lord Jesus, it shall indeed show that these are children whose parents are praying. In the name of the Lord Jesus, when they sow their seed into the ground without struggle, it will just Terminate without struggle, it will mature without struggle. Their seeds will bear fruit in the name of Jesus. Lembra sita karabra gaba shenderia. Kembro sotumbra gaba shinda limbrogo zigata. Gende broko zoko to limbra gaba shinda. Ende de brogo zoko tumbra gaba zikete tende brobo shenderia. Our children that we're praying for, our nieces, our nephews, our cousins, our grandchildren, our great grandchildren, the children that we teach in school, the ones that we nurse, lembrosto kedembra gazikata. We speak in to their lives malembra kosonta higareba they are they are eternal excellencies the joy of many generations you are eternal excellencies the joy of many generations you are eternal excellencies the joy of many generations in the name of the lord jesus imbraga baba sekete tembrogo zondara bashende gedere imbraga baba rekete kete yekete tembraga ba kande demroko sekete mbraga shinda lembrosonta ende demroko sokoto ende demrosonto kori mbraga ha inda ndamraga sekete mbroko sota ende demroko shinda lembroko sata ekete mbrosota le Thank you, everlasting Father. We thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We thank you because you have led us to pray as needed for our children tonight. Let us give thanks to God for the grace to pray. Let us give thanks to God for answered prayer tonight. Father, we bless your name. We thank you. Holy Spirit of God, we thank you. For helping us to pray for we don't know how to pray as we ought but the spirit of god helps us he helps us to pray according to the will of the father and we thank you because that is exactly what you have done in our midst again tonight thank you lord jesus we give you praise we thank you because you are there seated in heaven making intercessions this is only an extension of what you are doing for us all of the time we thank you sweet jesus and we thank you, our Father God. You are the best Father ever. We love the way you father us. We love the way you father our children. We thank you, Father. We celebrate you. We give you praise. We give you glory. And we thank you for answered prayers. This is the confidence that we have. That when we pray according to your will, you hear us. And if you hear us, then we have the petitions that we have asked of you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for praying all. It's been a wonderful time. I appreciate the corporate anointing with which we have prayed. And um, I want to implore you to join me again this time, this same time, next Monday, God willing. Invite other praying parents to join us. And if you are watching this on Facebook and it's been a blessing to you, share with other parents. Let them also pray for their children. It is well with us. It is well with our children. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the glory of God shall be seen upon our lives and that of our children. It shall be said that indeed, these are the seeds that are blessed of Jehovah himself. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. See you again next week by the grace of God. Blessings.